A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. So the weather's awful outside and we've decided to come in and do some more work on the 400 apartment and we're back in the bathroom so we haven't really done any work in here since last year really when we got all the plumbing sorted and we worked out where the bath and all the plumbing and all that was going to go. Um, now we're back in and we've sort of had a change of mind with it where we want to put stuff so originally we were going to have the bath here um, so it was looking straight out the window and we had the control unit here for the shower which was going to come above the bath and because we're wanting more of a high-end finish we thought well having the shower above the bath wasn't going to be the best solution because it's only a slipper bath so it's going to be quite difficult getting in and out so we seen obviously that there's this little cupboard in the corner here which was a, a doorway into the bedroom next door we boxed half of it up so half of it was for the bathroom so we could put stuff like towels on and the other half was going to be so we could hang whatever in for the bedroom but we're going to try and see if we can extend it upwards and further back and try and fit a shower unit in so it'd have its own self-contained shower unit and separate bath. So it'd be a, a lot better for guests so they can just quickly come in the bath or get in the shower. But I think what we're gonna do as well in this room to create something different is instead of trying to make the paneling work that's already here, we're gonna look at stripping all the paneling off and creating something different so we can put the hydroboard plasterboard on. So it'll be properly insulated and protected with the hydroboard and at least then we're not worrying about the panelling rotten with condensation or anything like that. And we will save all the panelling and reuse it somewhere else. There's just quite a lot of bits that are rotten around the windows that we're going to have to replace. So if we take it all out then at least we can do something differently with it and get it sorted. So yeah, everything else is still going to stay the same. So where the sink's going where the toilet's gone, where the bath's gone, it's gonna be exactly the same. It's just gonna be creating, obviously, a, a shower unit, which I think, obviously, everyone would agree that it's gonna be better to have a standalone shower unit than having the, the shower head above the bath. So, the job today for me and Graham is to get all the paneling off and see what's behind it, first of all, because we keep on uncovering new stuff so see what we can uncover there and to see if it's going to be possible if we could fit some sort of showy cubicle in here um, so yeah that's the challenge for today so we will crack on so yeah well we'll get this one up we'll get the ladders in here except this it's only got a couple of screws in where i've just held it in place because yeah. it can't come off anyway get that one off well, i think you should get the old thing
So we're cracking on in the bathroom. We've already got all of the wall off here and all of the other wall off, which is brilliant. I've managed to get all of the coven off this makeshift doorway that they've done and what they just cut straight into the original 18th century panelling into. But as you can see here, it's already dropping away on the panelling. And if we go around this side, I'll show you why. So, you can see up there, all of these bricks are all just collapsing. It's like the other walls that we've got to take out, they're just sort of held in with bits of map and that. Um, and I think they've took the panel enough in this part, right there along here, for an inspection for that reason. So, we're going to get them out now before they collapse anymore and make it safe and then at least we can get the rest of all of this panelling out here and get the panelling off this wall see what the bricks like behind that and then go from there yeah we'll crack on now So, still working in the bathroom and all of the panelling is off now and it looks an absolute mess. <laughs> I can't believe just how much work we've got to do now. It's good in a way because obviously we've been able to uncover this stone wall which was a support wall, went right through it along and it goes up onto the third floor and there's a chimney this side and there's our chimney above it for the third floor. Now, we know in the 80s they've done a lot of work and they just sort of just, I think it was done like quite poorly and cheaply, the way we were going around and discovering it. And I'm guessing this was one of the jobs that they've done back then. So all I've done is just literally bashed all of the support and brick wall out and put a couple of noggins of wood in there to hold it. And that was it, really. Obviously they've done that because there was a, a cupboard here for the bedroom next door um, and to create another doorway into the bathroom they've just knocked it in and not really had a care in the world about it and then left it and over time because of the weight of the bricks have been pushing down on it they've obviously just been dropping and dropping and the whole thing was just coming loose so when me and Graham were taking the panelling off the whole lot started dropping down and Obviously just coming away. So we've got all that out. We've got some props in now to prop it up. And the next step is just to look and see what we can do to try and obviously support it and get it structurally safe again. Um, we did want to use this space to put a shower in. So we don't want to break the whole wall back up, but we're going to have to try and put some sort of support in to try and 
make it structurally safe and get the, the rest bricked up again. So yeah, so we've got all the panelling off around the window as well. And we've got another beam up the top there that's in a bad state. So we're gonna have to do a lot of work with that. But at least all of this is off. We're gonna take the um, shower unit that we put in here, we're gonna take all that off and I'm gonna be using that in the other bathroom anyway. And we're gonna take the overhead shower off because we're gonna go with just a shower cubicle instead now. But yeah, it's good to see it all completely bare and have a blank canvas and get everywhere insulated and uncover what problems we've got here. But yeah, hopefully it won't take too long to get back to normal, but we'll see. But we'll crack on now, we're gonna have a little look, see what um, big wooden beams we've got to try and support this stone wall and then go from there. Job well done. Lovely back there. It's just knowing that it's all peace of mind, isn't it? Yeah. So yesterday, you and Tez dug all this out. Yes, job and half. Yeah, and then realised we have a support wall. Yes. It's not supported. I know. So, so we've had to, Graham and Terry have fashioned a new lintel. Um, which will do the job and we just need to replace the bricks now inside of that just make sure that we don't lose the strength of the beams above um, because that's what's holding upstairs up that's it we should be at our right axe on yeah so just a minor job today get these bricks back in and then he said he might let us go to the pub Graham. oh i can't see that oh, I see. can't see that <laughs> there's other jobs to do let, let's do a good job and he might let us go right come on then
Right, so second job of the day is going to be to put a new, now we've got everything in and out. Yeah. Pretty much we'll be to put the second false wall in here. Yeah, for the bathroom, yeah. Yeah, get this done. So we've got a plan, we need to, the door frame isn't fixed into the beams at the top. Yeah, so let's get that all plumbed in. Yeah, make okay. sure it's nice and flush. And then build the false wall here. We've done it. It's slightly bigger than the plasterboards and we don't want to have to put one in the middle. So what we're going to do is we'll lay the plasterboards down and do it that way. It's six and two hours if we do it, it'll just give us a better finish. Because um, I'm, I'm not when sure. When you're your really. Yeah, it, it'll be a lot easier for me to do it that way. So we'll lay the plasterboards down and have the joints here and one here as well. And that should be nice and easy. Yeah. So let's crack on. Let's on the next one. Come let's on then. Go. Great work done there. It's absolutely fantastic. Obviously, a couple of jobs that we didn't expect to be doing. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing new when you want to shuttle though, is it really? Well, no. <laughs> well, luckily, obviously, we uncovered them and we managed to get them sorted before we carried on with any more work because yeah. it would have been a, a massive problem in the future. Yeah, I think long term it, that was going to come down at some point. And it, it is a support and one. So we just cut a hole out of it before and not really supported it. So yeah, well, we just thought obviously they'd put a doorway in there. It was bad enough that they'd cut through the original paneling, um, but then they'd cut through the original paneling and made a doorway in it. <clears throat> and the beams were only this thick, weren't they? Yeah, <laughs> it was less than this, I think. Obviously, that was on there, um, holding the whole wall up. So over time, obviously, it's just give way. And the pieces of wood that we took out was just plywood um, in between. So yeah. literally all being held up, that whole wall was being held up by panelling. Yeah. So. so we didn't want to save that, so that's why we just ripped that out. All the panelling we've managed to save and that's all stored away now. So we will be using that throughout the chateau yeah, yeah. or other projects that we have, we'll be using that. Yeah, but we've got this wall done again. Another great job, just went up so quickly. Yeah, well this obviously we took all of the, um, the, the just like, partition walls that they used with brick. So to relieve a bit of the um, pressure of the salon and the beam, we took all of the brick walls out up mm -hmm. here anyway. Um, it, it, it needed, again, it needed to be done. They were barely held together, so it's yeah. just one of them. It, it's not too bad a job and it's a good job to do. And it means we can insulate it properly now. We can run electrics where we need to. It does make life easier in a lot of ways. Yeah, and obviously we can insulate them as well. So it's yeah. the main thing. It's all good. And while we've been at it, you may have seen bits of the bedroom while we've been working. And it's a great time if you're not already. Check out our Patreon because we've got snippets on there. You'll be able to get some advanced previews of what's going on in here as well. Yeah, yeah, especially with the bedroom, the work that's going on in there. But yeah, it's been brilliant, but like I said, obviously relieved now that that's all supported. Obviously we've got two decent sized beams that we found in the basement with some of the wood that we had sorted. So they're not just little pieces of wood, they are two big, big yeah. um, solid, beams. solid beams in there that we've managed to get into the stone wall and into the brick wall as yeah. well. So no, I'm happy. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely fantastic. But like I said, I didn't expect to be doing too much work in the bathroom, but now it's an absolute shell. Shell, it yeah, is. It's good. It like it. Everything goes backwards before it goes forwards here. It's just one of them things. Things look ten times worse before they look any better. So I'm not not sad. It, it's just one. I think we've got to that point now where we realise that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, I think it's going to be better in the long run to to plan a shell unit to go in this area. I yeah. think having a self-contained shell unit 
it's going to be far better than having one above the bath. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, in the bigger 401 suite, we will be having a shower above the bath, but that's a lot bigger bath. That's yeah. a big, big bath. Where this is only a slipper bath, it would be quite um, difficult and dangerous for people to climb in and out of. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all so good. yeah, it's all good. It's all fantastic. We're cracking on with the 400 suite. Hopefully, by the end of this year, we'll be. I'd say it'd be done. The way, the way that we're getting on with it, and the way things are going, it's 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 on course to be done for this year. Yeah, and hopefully in the next week we'll have our first window back, so that'll be able to go in the salon in the 400 suite. We'll be able to get that sorted. Yep, double glaze, and then we've got we're going we are doing all the front windows over time, so yep. that this will be fully double glazed everywhere, and here will be double glazed. And we are cleaning the front of the shower. Over, no couple of people have been asking, so the process... it's not going to be spotless. Before no. people expect a gleaming white building, it's not going to be like that. No, we're not having it so it's brand spanking new. We are going to clean it so it looks fresher, um, but we don't want it looking like this brand spanking new fairy tale shadow. Mm -hmm. We still want to keep its age to it. Yeah. So as we're going along and installing each of the windows, we're going to put scaffolding up. Um, we'll get to each point as we, as we go along. Yeah, and we're going to clean it. So we're going to give it a light clean first, see how it comes off and see how it looks and then go from there really and we'll keep you posted but yeah but one last thing as well obviously our good friends patrick and stuart at journey to the chateau yeah obviously they're doing an amazing job restoring their chateau and yeah. if you do enjoy watching chateau videos i definitely recommend checking them out yeah two lovely guys and they're almost almost at twenty thousand subscribers so if you're not subscribed please go and give them a subscribe give them a like they are genuinely two of the loveliest blokes you'll ever meet yeah. and like i said they've got the same passion for restoring things i think as we do so that's, i think that's why we get along really well with them yeah so definitely please just try and help them get over that twenty thousand subscribers mark it'd be it'd brilliant be. if you could so if you've enjoyed today's video like i say give us a like Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, because there's quite a few still aren't subscribed, but you just watch all the time. Give us a comment, tell us what you think. Like I say, we do enjoy reading your comments. We do try and get back to as many as we can. And I think it's beer o'clock now, isn't it? Must be. Yeah. Is it gin o'clock for you? Gin o'clock. We got all the work done. Good day. Come on then. Come on then. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.